Welcome back to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. So today I'm going to take you over to my good buddy Greg's uh, factory and we're going to be doing the unboxing of the latest model 2022 Epoxy Granite Sile X7 CNC machine. So these are some exciting times. I've never seen one up close before and uh, what I can tell you now after the fact is that I'm very, very impressed. Um, I'm sitting in front of my older machine and it's a totally different machine. Uh, the epoxy granite's much heavier, uh, looks like it's a much more rigid machine. Everything about this uh, epoxy granite machine blows my old style X7 you know, out of the water, it certainly does. So the main purpose of this video is just to show you guys in real time um, just how much effort it is in receiving a machine, unboxing it and getting it off the crate and everything and checking everything out. So um, this should help new buyers as well. If you're thinking of purchasing a sole, you can take a look at the way we went about it. Now, as I was saying, this machine isn't mine. It belongs to my buddy, Greg. And uh, Greg actually owns an older X7 as well. So this is his second sole. Um, and he's still got his original sole. And I believe he might be on selling that down the, down the path. So watch this space. All right, so without further ado, let's jump into the video. Let's take a look at this unboxing. It's all loose that side. Pick your right end. So Greg and Peter got the box open and you can see it's been um, bagged and wrapped. We've got one little concern where the box was damaged. It appears to be a little rub mark right along there. And now it's a little bit hard to pick it up here on camera. And there's a tiny little bit of damage just here. Not a lot. This end, as yep. I lift it out, and then I'll grab the other end that comes out yeah. and just put on the printer. Yep. Watch 
down hose, air hose, toolbox, bits and pieces in the Put toolbox, key. electrical cabinet key, gold gold plated cutter. And some brackets. Now we had to remove the coolant tray from under the front of the machine. Now that was a little bit difficult being on this steel base. Now we've got some scratches on the front of the black tray, probably not showing on the video where it's been marked in transport. There are three mounting bolts that hold the machine down to the base plate. Um, now this is on a tri system, it doesn't have four, it's only got three. Peter's down there now undoing them. Now two bolts did come loose during transit, the back two, but I believe the front bolt was a bit tighter. And there's the back bolt there on the on the uh, side of the machine I should say. Now at the moment Peter's just undoing the white skirt on the right hand side of the machine. Uh, we're worried that it's too low and the forks may come underneath that and crush that so we can get under the granite platform properly and get the machine off the steel um, pallet that's been made for it. Now there's a massive steel plate that's been made and welded to the bolted to the back of the machine and the boys suggest that it's for lifting with one of the tines of the forklift so that's a good idea, good design idea and you can remove it or leave it on later if you choose to. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. I really appreciate you following along and uh, I hope you got something out of it and maybe it could um, ease your mind about purchasing a new sole. Now make sure you subscribe and uh, click that the bell because I'm doing a follow-up video on this machine uh, once Greg gets the power connected to it. However, but coming soon, we're going to be doing a live interview uh, with the CEO of Sile, okay, and also a couple of the uh, resellers, one in the UK called George and Paul Frink over in the USA who is also a reseller. He also runs the Facebook page for the Soul User Group. So make sure you stay tuned and, and catch up on that video where we're going to introduce the 2022 range of Soul machines. Thank you and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.